welcome back to my channel today we're going to do a panning games update and this is a collab with the fantastic ladies on facebook the group will always be linked down in the description box if you want to check it out we do a lot of project pans and there are some projects upcoming very very soon and all the times actually if you aren't a member i hope you will check it out it is a group where we do a lot of project pants together and it is so much fun um yeah this project is created by amber and uh, i don't believe she's making videos anymore but she did create this and i have some progress to show you guys i don't have an empty this time around but i believe there will be one very soon and i know i say that a lot in my project pants and especially this one but they won't die they just won't surrender so the first product i want to show you guys because this is kind of boring because i have the same amount of progress every single time it is a hair serum from yves Rosé and it is looking like this and this is my progress so as you can see there are a lot of marks here and they are very steady so yeah i'm down to here right now so i believe it will be gone next update and i'm really excited about it because i do want to change it up i have been using this since the beginning so since the 1st of August, I believe. It's still going, so hopefully there will be an empty next month. Then we have my W7 Glow It All Multi Glow Serum. So this is a skincare kind of product. This is a serum that I have not been very good at using because sometimes I don't see an effect. And some of you guys last time said that I could mix it in with my foundation, but I already mix in some, where is that? Yeah, I, I just don't want to. I use this in the morning when I remember to. But this time around I actually have a mark and I'm, I'm, I'm excited about every time I get a mark on this product. So yeah, I'm right there. There's whole of March, April, May, June, July. Yeah, I have five months to finish this. I think I can do it, but I need to remember using it. And then I need to work on one more because I, I have one more. This gives a blue tint and the one I have uh, in my backup drawer is giving a pink tint. And I'm really excited for that one because uh, I'm, um, hmm. I'm not very excited to looking kind of blue in my face after using this. And, and I need to wash my hands afterwards because the serum is everywhere. And my sink looks pretty when I wash my hands because it, it, it doesn't um, liquefy if you can see, say it like that. So it's a male product, not my favorite. I don't want to get that, but I need to. One moment. Are you kidding? Let's just talk about that product. I need to get... Um, so the product that I was going to get is my W7 Glow Goo Illuminating Face Cream in Pink Glow. I do mix this in with my foundation, so that is why I don't want to mix my serum into my foundation. I don't want a pink and a blue tint in my foundation, even though it's just a little bit. I don't see a, a good reason for that. This is the Glow Goo. I, I, I really, really enjoy this stuff uh, on its own and in my foundation, but I mostly just use it in my foundation. Otherwise, it is a, an extra step for me, and then I forget it. I have a new mark, and it is extra special and extra good this month, and I'm really excited about it. Look at it. I made all of that progress in a month, even though I didn't wear makeup that much. I think it was uneven last time, because last time I only uh, made that much progress and I wore makeup more often than I did here in February, so I don't know what is going on. If I'm really, really, really good and I do make this amount of progress each time, I can finish this by the finish, uh, the, the finale, and I'm really excited about that because I have one more. Story of my life. <laughs> yeah, let's take the foundation that I'm talking about. It is the W7. It's a matte made in heaven, heavenly matte foundation. This one right here, I don't like this on its own and that is why I mix in an illuminator because this is a very, very matte foundation and it makes it dewy, which is not my favorite, but I like that more than uh, a matte foundation because uh, this foundation is looking very cakey if you just slap it on without anything underneath as a kind of illuminating thing. I've just realized I am not a fan of a matte foundation. 
so uh, that is a positive thing <laughs> so i de i'm definitely a satin foundation girl so let me show you the progress i'm excited i'm really really excited about it because that means it will be done next month and i'm so excited to get on with something else i can't wait i i honestly can't wait the concealer that I'm using is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I really really wish this is going to die soon because I really want to use something else now even though this is one of my favorite concealers ever. It is so so nice but sometimes it's just not enough under my eyes. Lately it has been very dry under my eyes but I think that is because I'm at the end of the tube right now. I have not taken the stuff out because there's enough on the applicator when I take it out yeah i will take the stopper out by next update and then let's see how long it will take me but that is going to be done very soon and i'm very excited about it this is the essence i love color intensifying eyeshadow paste the name kind of is rubbing off but it is leaving a cast so i can see what it is called this eyeshadow base is going to be my dead <laughs> uh, oof. i'm going to die before this is going to die yeah, I do have a new mark, but it's not my favorite eye primer at all, or base, or whatever it is. It is still acting up, so hmm. I'm going to stop setting it, even though I don't want to. But today I haven't set it, and I don't think my shadow is acting up. But it's just because my eyeshadow is blending away when I set this eye primer. I have not had... Um, the issue before this eye primer with me setting the base and my shadows blending away i have never had a problem so i don't know what uh, is up with this product <laughs> i'm really excited when this is gone i'm going to use it up anyway this is the new mark and i'm really really excited about it even though it's not as much but again i haven't used a, a lot of makeup this month and i have been here forever i'm so sorry i have a setting powder from w7 it is the setter up special fx finishing powder again i like this product it's not a favorite but it's definitely not a bad product and i have a new mark i'm so excited can you see even here it is i'm really excited and yeah i'm just using it checking away i will have it done by the finish um, last update i believe hopefully um, there's still a lot left but uh, i hope so the next soft matte lip cream in can i am using this uh, every time i go out when i need to reapply and that is uh, quite a lot um actually so i can't see any progress on that one this is my l'oreal infallible eyeshadow it is a pressed pigment it's not a cream shadow uh, as some of you have pointed out it is in magnetic coal i really really like this stuff and i have used it quite a bit this month actually on my eyelid i have considered using it as a blush and i have considered using it as a crease color because even though this seems very shimmery it's really not um it's more of a satin color so i think i can work it in my crease and that would be a very nice transition into more green and yellow shadows uh, and not that pink anymore so yeah this is where i am there's a huge dent in it and yeah i just really want to hit pan i doubt myself that i am going to hit pan then i have two items left and those are the two i need to mark i have an ebay lip liner and i need to get my butt into gear if i want to finish this by the finale because i don't use it enough Again, story of my life. At W7 Strobe and Go Strobing Stick, this is a highlighter, and I adore this highlighter so much. It is a beautiful highlighter cream. Let me just swatch it just because. Yeah, there it is. I have it underneath my highlighter today. I don't know if you can even see my highlighter. I'm panning a very subtle highlighter, and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> so that is the mark for the ebay lip liner i have a lot of progress compared to last month um and i use it every single time i use this one so i guess that is why i have more progress but i need more progress i need 
as much progress as I had in the first month or so. I need to finish it. Um, in the lip liner there's like that much left because I have experienced that the wax is uh, up to that white line. So that is how much I need to finish in five months. Seems doable, right? But I don't mind if I don't finish my items, but I really want to. Uh, even though this is a holy girl item. So yeah, this is how much I progress. Uh, this is how much product I have left, and this is how much progress I have in the last month. Last month I did the tree thing uh, underneath my foundation and on top of my primer. I have forgotten that step every single time I have done my makeup this month, and that is why I don't have as much progress. I am remembering after I have applied my foundation, and then I can uh, do it on top. You know. Today I forgot it and I did it after powder, which is fine, but it works better underneath powder, obviously. But this gives such a nice glow underneath the foundation and I go through it faster and it's just good. Okay, it's just good. That's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have been here for way too long and I'm so sorry, but I just had a lot of on my mind, I guess. So I hope you guys are okay with that. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't already checked out the other ladies in this collab and the fantastic ladies, they will be linked down below as always. And until my next video, I hope you guys are going to take care and subscribe to my channel because I do a lot of project pants. And so yeah, until my next video, I hope you guys are going to take care because I apparently can't think anymore. So I'm so sorry. So. Cheers and I will see you guys next time. Bye.